Welcome to another GibbsCam video. Today we're going to show you how to create a machine template. Now a template is something that you can have the tools already there, your fixtures and everything else you might need. So when you click on new part and choose that machine, all the tools and fixtures that you have are already ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is of course start out with just a, a blank part. I'm going to create a template from a three axis vertical mill. So I'm going to start out by using this and just click on new. And I'll actually delete this one here. And right now I'm just going to leave it untitled. This is our starting point here. So I'm going to close that now. Go up to Plugins and down to Machine Manager. And it's going to tell me the MDD is locked and changes cannot be saved. That's for the three axis vertical mill, the standard one in Gibbs. That's OK. We're just going to click OK. So it brings up this uh, window here. Now I don't want to override this one anyway. Uh, it's, going to, it's locked anyway. So we're going to click on New. It's going to pop up this window and then when it wants a name for this template, I'm just going to call it Tim's 3-axis mill. And I don't want to create a new one and have to fill out the travels and the direction and everything else. So I'm just going to say clone from the current one. And I'm going to click on regenerate to give me a new, just a unique key and click on create. So now I have my new Tim's 3-axis vertical mill that I created. And of course, this is where it's storing everything. So I'm going to click on Save and just close that. So now I'm going to go to Document, and there's my mill right there. You can see the three axis vertical still there, but I have my Tim's three axis vertical mill right here. And from here, I can put in my dimensions of maybe a, a standard size I want to start out with. We're just going to keep the defaults there. So I'll click on New. And I'm going to call it uh, template for three axis mail. You can name it anything you'd like. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to bring in my tools and some fixtures in here so you can uh, see what uh, tools and fixtures I have already in this part. So here I have my tool list my default tool list and in the body bag I have clamps and vices so my vices you can have of course as many as you'd like as the default vices in there or clamps as well I just have a couple mighty bite tools in there just so you can see so that's going to be my default template so now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to MDD default part and it's going to say this current part will be saved as a default new part for Tim's vertical. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to close everything and I'm just going to say no. So again I'm going to choose document and choose my machine. Well, actually, we'll choose three axis vertical mill first and click on new. And we'll just leave it untitled. And of course, this is my standard three axis vertical mill. No tools or anything else. You're starting from scratch. But let's say I want to create one with my template. I'm just going to close this one. I'm going to go to document control, new, but I'm going to click on the machine I want first. And choose Tim's vertical. I got a couple in there and click on new. Give it a name. And there's my tool list. If I go to my body bag, there's my fixtures and my vices. So you can start out with a template uh, of anything you'd like to start out with. You can, of course, fill out all the information here as well. Everything you need is a starting template. And of course, you can create more than one template if you want. You can name these accordingly how you would like. Hope this helps make your templates. Thank you.